what it does. Simply an element he and Darty pass the day. Twenty for a living and ten for him to save. One evening, Wally Dot checked out his clay pot to see how much money he had saved. I'm the three. What am I to do with all this money? I need nothing more than I have. Wally Dot thought and thought. The next day, he exchanged all his coins for a lovely gold bracelet. Who can tell me? In all the world, who is the noblest lady? The noblest lady? Who can be me as the prettiest beauty? <laughs> Without doubt, it is the young queen of Kaisen. <laughs> My brain, do me the kindness. The next time you pass that way, please give her this little bracelet with my compliment. Okay, if you insist. What a weird man! When the queen saw the gift from Wally Dot, how lovely! I insist on giving him a small gift in return. But when Wally Dot saw the gift, what a guy he! This is worse than before. What am I to do with this precious silk in a camel? Dress as a king, riding and waving hello. Young king of Negaba. Then do me another favor, please. On your next trip there, please give him these silks and that camel, and again with my compliment. Sure, if you still insist. This man is not just weird; he's wacky. When the king saw the gifts from Wally Dot, splendid! I love animals. Your friend must have five. Wait. A ten? No, twelve. Twelve of my strongest horses. That's my little thanks. The next morning, Wally Dot woke up and smelled something. Good morning, sir. Ah,、uh, yeah. Happy day, happy day. We got gift from the king. Happy. One, two, three. It's twelve, sir. This was four thousand words. What could I do with twelve? What's that thing? It smells, fellows. I beg you, my friend, take them to the Queen of Kaisen again with my rose apples. No, my compliment. Although the merchant thought it was really weird, he still promised on his next visit to the Queen's palace. He gave her those horses, not rose apples. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this Wally Dub persist in selling gifts? I have never even heard of him. My queen, why don't you discredit him? Seeing him give so rich, he can never hope to match it. Twelve horses are gone, no longer the wall. It looks so sad. Shoes and silver are loyal on twenty mules fast. What have I done to deserve this? Great Indonesia, spare him an omen so foolish. The merchant went to the king of Negabat again. Chandler's offer exciting and so hard to be refused. But not so commerce common really makes the king confused. Camels, mules. Now it's an animal competition, huh? Okay, on my mark. Ready? Twenty tigers, golden elephants. It's not over yet. Thirty rhinos, golden rhinos. What I get to get? Forty horses, golden chargers, mounted on the backs. Liver servants riding elephants, marching in their tracks. My friend, well, fast forward to the end. Send them all to the queen again. Again and again, like a ridiculous game. Among the foolish men, there goes the real giver sense. My queen, clearly the man wishes to marry you. Marry me? Really? Since his gifts are so fine, perhaps you should let's go meet him. Meet the, the queen's prince charming. At the same time, the king also decided to visit Wally too. <laughs> no, be paid for all my foolishness. What am I supposed to do? They will remember me, my coffee open hot. Wally'll miss the good old days.
Louis crying over here. He knew at once they were Paris the Angels from Paradise. I am a stupid man. I cannot face my Jean. No Jean can come to such as you. Tell us, what do you really want? Gifts again because, because